here with all this these feathers that my roommates decorated XYZ so you notice it made the vanishing point um, it found the vanishing point of the X Y and Z and it also found the camera orientation uh, which is uh, the where it's rotating and the focus length which is great um, there's only one thing that isn't solved which is the camera position so what you're going to have to do is add a pin and then throw this pin you can throw it anywhere and if you notice it solved it but what I like to do is the pin right here and if you notice it's doing all this what it does is this this will be your zero 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 point. So if you make, uh, first of all, let me let me put it like right here at the bottom of this um, bathroom door. So if I make if I make a new cube, boom, scale it down, press T, and hey, look, it's way down there in Z space, way down there. Um, so I'm gonna actually delete that and go back to the camera calibrator and I'm going to move it right here okay okay so now if you click back to this the camera is uh, let's deselect everything that's the camera and here's the cube um, so let's go ahead and add some add some geometry to this thing. Now this can be very finicky, um, but that's okay. Let's add cubes or planes. Which ones should we do? We should do some cubes. Add some cubes. Put this over here. Yeah, maybe I should have done a plane. A plane. Okay. So this will be the floor. Okay. Good enough for the floor. Let's do the ceiling up there. I'm gonna hold down Alt. Um, Hold on control, sorry. Alt is for Mac. Hold on control and go all the way up. This will be the ceiling. Boom. Um, let's also, let's just quickly do this. Uh, whoa, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Darn you, Cinema 4D. Let's try that again. Save it. My computer actually could be going nuts. All right, so boom, boom. Um, let's bring this up. We're gonna rotate it uh, 90 degrees to represent the wall, and then we're going to do this all the way, rainbow, rainbow all the way, and then boom. I'm gonna line it up to this down here. Um, actually, I need, need to make it all the way 100% uh, uh, to the left. And what you're gonna have to do is where is it? X Y Z. Uh, my phone is going off. X Y Z. So we want to move it in the Z position. We're gonna go to uh, coordinates and then the Z position. There we go. There we go. Boom. Um, I should be naming this wall left uh, ceiling if I spelled that wrong that's fine ground and then wall right what I'm gonna do is hold down control and you see that little plus sign down there it means it's uh, duplicating it call this right Alright, now move this all the way over here. Um, lining it up to. 
am I lining it up to? That. Let's make this bigger, and that's fine. Okay. Um, one more, and that will be the uh, the far wall. I'm just keeping this very primitive for now. This is a beginner tutorial. Um, if you would like, I can totally, no problem, do an advanced tutorial on uh, how to make this look great. Because I've done a few, quite a few projects that I've had to use this technique for, and uh, it comes out really well. Surprisingly, it comes out amazing. Um, so we got uh, this will be the bath. Okay, so as you can see, this is a very primitive uh, uh, hallway. Primitive means uh, the, uh, these. These are primitives. We got cubes, cones, uh, planes, cylinders, all that stuff. There's, there's no actual geometry besides that. Change this to 90. I forgot to change it. They all want to be 90 degrees or zero, which they are. So the next thing we want to do is uh, throw a, pro a camera projection on it. So, we're, so what I'm going to do is duplicate this camera by holding down that control button and then dragging it. We're going to get rid of the camera calibrator. We don't need it because it's in the same position as this camera anyways, so it's completely fine. Um, and we're going to do this. We're going to name it Project Shim. Camera, pro camera project, projection. Um, and now we're going to throw the background image right onto that wall. Boom. And we're going to throw it onto all these other walls too. Boom. We're holding down control to duplicate it all. And you notice that it's all wacky dacky. That's just that's because the UV um, the the UV unwrap is just not right for now. So what we're gonna do is highlight all of these. Gonna go to um, the tag and we're going to go to camera mapping and notice it does this crazy thing, but it's fine click and hold camera projection and put this in the camera and BAM! Um, it's projecting what is going on on that camera so it's it looks a little cruddy right here but if you render it it should look fine um, another thing another thing we're going to want to do just for now is put a, put the luminance on and we're going to copy this and we're going to paste this texture. Did I misclick it? Copy this and then paste it in there. Boom. Paste. Cop. Whoops. Copy. Paste. There we go. So, what that did is. Um, you don't need any lights in your scene to make this texture. Um, without that, you, you notice that there was it was dark here and light there, and it was just all crazy. Um, so another thing, what we're gonna do this is this will be called the camera position position. And we're gonna duplicate it yet again, but that's okay. We're gonna call this camera move. Um, so we're also going to click this camera so this is the camera that will be moving um, let's go back to the four views oh wow look at that I could probably I will probably extend the uh, these all the way down there actually I'll do that right now so what is this 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 is the this is the, the the height. So bring it down the height way down there. Ah, we'll just leave it for now. I'll show you what I'm doing. So we're gonna take the camera and we're gonna make a keyframe. Boom. And then we're gonna go to let's go for 40 frames in. 
um, boom. So what this is doing, very quickly, it it mapped all these uh, sides, and you can press F8, and you're actually moving down this 3D space by using an image. It's it's fantastic, and that well, now that you um, can clearly see, I need to change a few things. I need to where is it? Project uh, camera move project position. I could I'm I'm trying to cheat it right now. I really shouldn't. No, I shouldn't do that. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take both of the left and the right and we're going to move it up. We're also going to adjust the height like I was just doing before but, it's, but I decided not to. Um, so move the height all the way. Boom, like that. And we're also going to adjust the width so it's that size. Huh. Like I said, this could be very finicky. I knew that was going to become a problem. That's fine. Why don't I just do this? Boom. Yeah. Why didn't I do that? Okay. Um, okay. So now, we're traveling down the hallway. Press F8, by the way, for this. i got to make sure I'm not... Make sure I don't hit F9 because that will stop my recording, and that will be super silly. Um, so F8, you're actually going down this hallway, and of course, you know, if you get closer and closer to an image, it's going to get uh, wacky. It's going to get uh, blurry. So if I get super close, it's actually not that bad. I mean, you can definitely tell here, but that's okay because that's what the advanced tutorial is about. Um, for now, I'll leave it like this. But if you'd like, I can make an advanced tutorial. So this is this is a glimpse of what it would do. Um, so let's just say we want to replicate this trim. So we'll make a box. Make a box. Reduce that. Reduce the X, Y, and Z. Okay. So this will be the trim. Boom very primitive of course I'm going to have to model that out I'm not a I'm not a half assed type of guy but this is supposed to be a beginner tutorial so that's okay and then control to copy that projection down there so if you notice you probably yeah you, you kinda notice it here but that's about it um, But yeah, that's that that's more so for ooh, here we go. Perfect example over here. The uh mirror. You'll see. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, people. Hold on a second. Come on. Okay, so I think that's good enough. That's good enough. That's good enough. Okay, so when you're actually passing it, you'll see it poking out of the wall. And you notice it's a little wacky. That's because of the uh, camera projection. Um, in that case, what you would have to do is notice this is gre uh, yellow, 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 green, green, yellow when they're all 100% green your scene is going to be fantastic so like to fix this what I would do is make another line boom and this will be at the bottom let's get rid of this cube the bottom of this mirror and put that as the X and of course it messed everything up it's going to um, but you'd have to uh, really really define 
all of these uh, vanishing points. But I'm just going to control Z all the way to the end. So, this is the beginner tutorial about camera remapping, uh, camera projection, and camera um, mapping, also called camera cal the camera calibrator. It came, I think it came in R14. So if you have R13, this will not work for you. There are other ways to do this, of course, but this is the most efficient way, in my opinion. Um, okay, so if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, email me or leave a comment, whatever. Um, and thanks, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.